really cool to watch you go overseas with the BBC and the, do the London series. And it was just a cool moment to see baseball go global, go internationally. What was it like to see a sport that you and I grew up loving and now that we're covering it be embraced by more than just the States? It's the privilege of a lifetime for me that the BBC trusted me with this, tabbed me to be the play caller for it. Uh, it's been, they're a wonderful organization, first of all, just the, the support, the inclusion, um, the way that they go about making sure that we deliver the sport the right way to fans in Europe so that they can grasp it and expand it. It's been more than I could ever ask for. Obviously getting to travel for a job for a team like that is, is just the icing on the cake. But you walk down and, and we've all been to Crown Jewel events before and you see all of the national pundits that you either know or you know who they are. And it was surreal to know that we were the national home broadcast and there were just hundreds of people I'd never seen before. I'd never known, never met. You know, you have all these different entities. You have the ESPN branch that's over there. They have Sky Sports. They had uh, Formula One out there, the McLaren team was taking in batting practice with the Cardinals and getting to see the Cardinals and the Cubs react to just a different environment and getting to be in front of new faces and how cool it was. You know, we've all traveled and sometimes we take that for granted, but you could tell in that moment, not one of them took being in London for granted and just how different it is to experience a ballpark and fans for the first time. I, I'm just so excited to see where Major League Baseball grows in the future, because if this is any indicator of where it's going to go, it's going to be big. And I mean, they didn't originally have the broadcast for the 2019 series. That's how successful that series was, that it made it a must broadcast series. And, and I'm just thankful again that we've gotten to experience this. Taking over Trafalgar Square, that's literally the equivalent of taking over Times Square in New York City wow. to host a virtual home run derby and wrapping our minds around that, that that's the kind of power this sport is bringing in is just the coolest. Yeah. And I think it's so important for us to remind ourselves that because we're from an, an era where people are saying baseball's boring, baseball's boring, baseball's boring. And I hate those people because if you go to a baseball game with me, I can promise you, I, I will find little nuggets to make you fall in love with the sport. And yeah, and like next year, they're going to continue the expansion and, in, and introducing the sport to other people across the world. And I'm excited you get to be a part of that as well. And just to see you personally and, you know, X, of course, for, he also did, Xavier Scruggs did that with you. They were just embraced. It felt like you guys really belong there. I feel like that was important as well. It's the first time since COVID that I have had a sporting event that I've been able to work, that I was legitimately sad as we were getting ready to put our headsets on for that final day, because it you wait so long for it. And then the three days fly by so quickly. And, and it's a wonderful team. And Felix White, our British analyst, is one of the most eloquent and beautiful speakers about our game. And I would encourage anybody to just go find some of the things he says about baseball, because it made me really fall in love with the sport all over again. And not just from that, you. and I know you get what I mean by this, when you're sitting in the stands and you're not working and you're in like a comfy sweatshirt and you have a beer and you just get to take in the game, he elevates it to that next level because he talks about the fact that baseball is the only sport in the world that breathes with your life every single day. And you have bad days and so does baseball. And you still have to show up tomorrow because baseball is showing up tomorrow. Um, I'm just so excited to work with them again and to see where we take it from here. I know we have London again next year, but they're looking at Paris and Germany and all these other places. And I think we're going to get to share that with a lot of people. And for the record, people who say baseball is boring don't actually watch the game. It's the same people who are like, oh, Nickelback is the worst. And they don't actually listen to Nickelback. It's just a popular opinion that has no base that they just decided to glom onto. Yeah. Don't be a sheep, people. Make your own assessment. And I'm, you know, I'm going to say it. They're probably going to clip this and I feel like crap. Nickelback is not that bad. Duh. I like Nickelback. I, like I think Nickelback. they got a bad rap. We're going to, um, I listened to them my first day in Philly. That was my soundtrack for the day. Yeah. It's like, you know, somebody else says it. So don't be a sheep, people. Be authentic. Be your true self. 